shoe falls. So back to another episode. All right, it's another random one, folks. But we got rid of the tote. What my mom did. I did not want to do it. She has to go to the pond. Now we're gonna get the raw. No, we're gonna fill it up back with water. You shouldn't know what to do with it. I'm gonna fill it back up with water and put minnows in it. Like, I get. Because me and Nate recently got into catfishing. Because it's really fun. We cast it out and then we put a dead bluegill because we dispatched it some way, somehow. And just threw it on the ground. It died. And then we throw it out. And we were getting nice catties. So. We are gonna have some, I think I'm gonna put baby, um, like chub in there. Cause I think that's maybe good, I don't know. But bluegill is what we did use before. We have a spotted bass, but that doesn't count for like a video because why would, like it's only spotted bass, it's like, Eight inches, ten inches, not that big. So you guys don't need to know that. But I'm putting two nice size largies in there. Plug one I want to put big, one a little smaller. Make sure they're males though. Because you don't want females and males and then there'd be babies in there and then you don't want that. So let's actually look at the worm farm. I mean we haven't looked at it in a very long time. And uh Flair did it way different than me. I did it the total opposite. I put it on the ground facing the ground and he has, his looks way better because it just looks, but I have the greenhouse effect. They look, they like moisture. They like, yeah, they just like that stuff. Oh yeah. See, the last time I put water in this was like, I don't even know. It's still wet. There's probably some worms down there, but I'm not going to look. I don't want to get muddy. I just broke that. That's really not good because now the moisture's out of it. Hey, dude. All right. So. I might go to my grand's, which my grandma has a crick, and I might get minnows for the tote. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do this episode. I'm just going to fart around. Like, I'm going to be putting rocks around the pond, but I don't want to video that. Who would want to watch putting rocks around the pond? So, um, this is what we got going on with the electric for the pond. It's looking messy, I should say. We got this going. Huge trench going all the way up to there. And it's really annoying to dig. you think it would be easy with a pick. It took us longer to do that than dig the pond out. So, um, yeah, that's all empty. We're I'm gonna put some minnows in there. They could live in that. So, yeah. I'm gonna turn the pump off and see if we could see the spotted bass. And we thought the bluegill crappy and all that were dead, but they're not. They just hide under that crate. It's looking messy at the bottom. I'm gonna clean that up, but. None of them are out. They're all under. Besides the one bluegill. The one bluegill hunkers down. Look at the bass. It's right under the crate. Yeah, I'm going to poke it out. To show you guys. Wait, here's a stick. Um, I'm going to go get a stick and poke it out. So I can show you. The colors on this thing are tremendous. They're immaculate. I don't even know what that means. But, look at that stupid idiot bluegill. He's trying to fit through that hole. He 
here again. He's a chill bass, which I wanted him to be aggressive. Mr. Bass, I want to show yourself, please. I want to show your colors because you're a beautiful fishy. Is that good? Whoa! I'm on something right now. Stuck. You idiot bluegill. Bass, what's a crappy? Well, I'll show you guys. I'll be back with you guys when I get it out. Okay. Um, I just got news. Now we're not. We're supposed to go fishing today. No. And then we're a, we're supposed to go. Um. To my grand. Didn't do that either. So I'm I'm really triggered right now. So I'm just gonna do a simple video. What are my favorite baits? Um so in like any type I'm gonna do I'm gonna do crappy bluegill perch. No not bluegill, bluegill in bass. So first if you want it, I'm gonna do numbers and the biggest. If you want numbers, first I'm going to start with crappy. Now, I don't know where the lure went. So, it's like this orange little baby worm looking thing. It's like it's like that big. It's like this thin. It's really thin. And you just put on a weighted hook. It, it's deadly for crappy. And I'm, I'm not a big crappy guy. So, if you are just... Get a weighted hook and a little tiny piece. This is a piece of one. That's like, I don't know. But, moving on to perch. Perch really bite on anything, really. So, but what I do like to use for perch is literally just the same thing as crappy and a worm. Like, and a weighted hook, like one of these. A weighted hook with just a piece of plastic and you jig it. They really bit by anything. So, that's that. Next, bluegill, they eat worms, they eat, they eat everything, basically. They eat a gosh darn topwater. I caught a gosh darn bluegill on topwater before, so... Now for bass, if you want to catch numbers, meaning more fish, obviously the lunker log. Here, the lunker log. I put random lures in here, like John Monoms, but the lunker log is the best for numbers. Wacky rig it, weedless, you could do any kind of rig with this thing. So, I like. To be honest, I like doing um, wacky rig. I think it gives more action to it when you jig. But I put it weedless, and I like how it like falls better. And I like how it when I wacky rig, I like how you jig it, and it makes the better jig. And then when you just weedless, it just moves straight, and it looks like. But whatever. Um, catfish. Um, catfish eat any type of dead animal, so just catch yourself some bluegill and dispatch them, and then cast them right out. That's what I do. So, that's that. What else am I missing that I... Oh, I forgot. Bass for big boys? If you want big boy bass? Has to be the frog, but you gotta be realistic. This time of year, you want a jig. And I actually have the big, filthy, wait, dirty jig? I forgot, it was a Guggen Squad jig. And the bass jig is, like, for this time of year, perfecto. So, um, that's that. For 
pickerel. There's not only like pickerel in our state. There's actually pike, but that's up north. So, I like using this for pickerel and just like jigging it and, you know. This is the color if I see them busting, you know. There's not shad around us. They just eat on bluegill. There's no shad around us. We never see blow-ups here. Um, and there's actually something better you could use, a swim bait. But my dad used up all of them because he loves swim baits. And what else could I... Oh, golden shiner. Those suckers... I know exactly what's good for them. They just eat worms. Like, they just eat worm, you know? Which, who eats or catches golden shiner? Are they good to eat? Like, I've never seen anybody eat um, what am I talking about? Whatever. So, bed, a bed lure to use like it doesn't even matter there's not the best bed lure meaning fish are on beds putting their eggs on the beds and they guard them so the best thing to use there's not a best thing but this is good to use and like maybe just get a minnow like this i never used these before just get a little minnow and just put it on it like pecking at it anything that looks like they're eating their eggs, they will eat it. Sometimes you could be on hours on just one fish. It's pretty hard to get some bed fish. Some of them are really aggressive. Some of them are not. I actually seen, you're probably not going to believe it, but I seen a seven plus on a bed. And every time I put in front of it, it just went. It did not even care. It was probably way bigger than seven, but nobody's going to believe me. So, oh, these are good for bed fishing. Salamanders. Hmm, am I missing any? Trout. Trout, 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 trout. Trout. You're definitely going to be trout fishing, like, bef like, fall. Not fall. What am I talking about? Like, when it's... Going into spring, that's when the trout fishing is supreme. And what you want to use at that time is a spinner, like any type of spinner. Um, mostly rooster tail are the best. Map spinners, don't get the small ones because the blade is bigger than the whole thing. And it messes up the hook set. So I recommend you guys getting the rooster tail. So that's Mason's tutorial. Um... On the catfish rig, I'm the most simple person when it comes to fishing. I don't put a slider thing on there with a drop shot, with a hook that, like, I don't know. But people have crazy catfish rigs. All I need for my rig is a hook, and I catch them all the time. So you do not need to buy little sliders and all that crap. But if you're, like, river fishing, you don't just use this because... The current will take it, and you just want a drop shot. A hook and a drop shot. That's literally all you need. So, like, one of these and one of these. This is all you need. People have, like, these crazy rigs. You do not need that stuff. Like, you do not need it. So, just get yourself one. You have to get a pretty big hook for catfish. Or else they'll just swallow your bait. Because they just don't peck at it. They just swallow because they can't see, they, I think, wait, they could see, but they use your, their whiskers to scent stuff, like the vibration, I guess. Um, and I caught a catfish two days ago with a bluegill, my first ever live bait. Well, it wasn't live bait because I killed it, but I put my finger in its mouth. They have the craziest bite. It hurt so bad. And it was just like a three pound catfish. Like, do not ever put your finger in the mouth of them. And they caught hit, uh, like a five pound catfish on a Yamamoto one. It happens, but like. 
Catfishing is like my new, th uh, don't get me wrong, I, bass fishing is by far my favorite, but catfishing is my new thing. I like bass fishing more than catfishing, but catfishing is like my new hobby. I love catfishing. But, you'll be seeing more catfish videos at this one place that has a ton of catfish. So stay tuned, post notifications, and you guys will get notified for every single video I post. So, this is going to be the end. I might actually get a catfishing um, um, mystery tackle box when this three-month trial is over. And then when I get another one, I think I'm going to get a catfishing one and see what I get. So, I'm peacing out. Signing out, folks. Tell me what your favorite lure is on my Instagram. I'll put it in the description. I might. I'll just tell you right now. All lowercase m a period s o n four four one one. And you will just tell me what is your favorite bass lure. And for big fish, big bass, and small, but you get more. Which I'm more of a person that wants to catch more fish. They get big fish because like, like I. Bass fish, not to, just to get a big fish. I do it for the fun of the fight. That's why I fish. Like, why would you just go for big ends? Like, you caught a five pounder. Whoa, you caught a big fish. But you rather, f like, I don't know. But hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out. Signing out. I will go eat some yummy French toast that my mom made. Homemade. Better than Golden Krispies, folks. But, I'll peace out. Sign out. Peace.